Hey, what's happening guys? We're going to take a look at a uh, power bank today. Built-in AC charger. This is model PST17UPB-2. Input 100 to 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz. Output DC 5 volts, 1 amp, 2.4 amp. Battery capacity 5200 milliamp hours. And this is from Genzason Tattoo. Now, a few years ago, I was really big into the RC airplane scene and uh, flew only electric aircraft. Gen's Ace was one of the batteries that I used to buy, so they made some good stuff. I had no idea they made power banks. But this is one that they sent me. <laughs> wow. Okay, first impressions. This is the nicest put together power bank, I believe, I have ever seen in my life. Um, there are no directions, no documentations, but I guess we really don't need much. It has a built in AC plug adapter, and it would seem that this part slides out so you could get a British or European or Australian or you know what have you uh, plug adapter to go in there we've got two standard USB ports 2.4 amp 1 amp these are USB a we've got a power switch don't notice any uh... oh there we go LEDs there's four of them. I was seeing three, so assuming the standard uh, way this goes, that would be probably about 75% charged. So I'm going to put this on the charge for a while, and then we'll come back and put it through its paces. All right, we got her charged up. <clears throat> I apologize for how shiny this is. No matter what I do, it's just going to it's going to glare. So I've got the uh, USB doctor plugged into the 2.4 amp outlet and it is plugged into my 3 amp variable load which right now is set all the way down so we'll power it up we have four dots and the output is 5.2 volts let's uh, zoom in there so you guys can see that a little bit better All right, let's start increasing the load on it. There's a little over half amp. No problems whatsoever. Of course, you'd expect that. Try and take it up to about an amp here. There we are, right at one amp. We're seeing, what, 5.909 volts. Excellent. Take her up to about an amp and a half. And 5.03, excellent. Up to two amps. Now we've fallen off just a little bit, but 4.98 is still close enough to five volts that I'm gonna call that good. 2.05 amps, we're still at 4.95 volts. Still going to call that good. We'll take it up to 2.4 amps, which is what it's rated at. 4.91, I would call that borderline, but it's still producing an acceptable voltage level at a high current draw. So that's all good as far as I'm concerned. So our next question, I guess, is how do we get inside to take a look? There seems to be a seam around here. Let's see if we can get in there. Start with the spudger, maybe. Mm, not much luck with that. Like I said, this is one of the most well put together 
power banks I think I've ever seen. Let me try something a little thinner and a little sharper. Okay, that didn't really take that long, a couple minutes. Just had to find a, a seam that I could actually get into. Alright, I'm not going to make you watch me try and peel this apart. I'll be back when I have it ready. We are in. And what you can see here are two 18650 packs. Here is the US plug adapter. And like I said, it would be very easy for them to switch this out and change it for whatever region you're from. We see the two USB ports and the power switch. Now we have our um, rectification circuitry here. Nice uh, class Y transfer uh, capacitor, inductor, couple big smoothing caps. And if we turn it over, that's about two millimeter spacing there. Very nice anti-tracking slots. This is quite well put together. There is a lot of circuitry here. We got a thermistor here for heat. And the case, of course, is very nicely done. This is high quality all around. So the only thing left to do is discharge it, recharge it, and see what the capacity actually is. Putting this back together, getting ready for the discharge recharge testing. I notice one thing here in the case. You see this strangely shaped thing here? That goes through the tracking, sl tracking slot for blast protection. Again, high quality. Okay, I completely discharged the device last night, recharged it overnight, and this has a memory as to either the input or the output. So we plug her in here and turn it on. That's always helpful, right? Let's zoom in here so you guys can get a look. Thirty-three ninety milliamps, listed as five thousand milliamps. Now you got to keep in mind that five thousand milliamps is at the uh, nominal voltage of those batteries. So that's about seventy percent, and that is definitely right on track. Now this charger from Gen's Ace and Tattoo, like I said, is probably the nicest charger I've ever played with. Excellent construction. Looks like good circuitry inside. Safe. It's 20 bucks. There's a link to it down below. I give that one a thumbs up. And if you guys like this video, why don't you give me a thumbs up? Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.